terrifying. Uh, well, you they, look at things like OnlyFans now that's massively promoted this sort of culture of um, women sort of sexualizing themselves. Um, and again, lots of people, lots of even sort of fourth wave feminist icons are encouraging people to use OnlyFans, despite the fact, I always think if you're doing that stuff, it happens currently with porn stars. What about 10 years in the future when your kids are going to school and people are showing them pictures of you, people aren't thinking about the future consequences of their actions. Well, that's it. My thing is, you know what? You love cuties. How about you have your daughter try out for it? Show you, do you want to help her prepare? Shall you take her through the dance routines? And then do you want to send her along so that man can choose whether or not she's good enough for the film? Because if you're not willing for your own daughter to do it, then why are you willing for my kids to do it? Because it's my kids that are going to be affected by this and your kids are safe at home or in their boarding school. And it makes me so angry. I can't tell you how angry it makes me that these people are destroying my kids, both the boys and the girls because it's not just the girls who are affected the boys expect this of the girls and the girls want to please the boys and it's the only way in which they then can sell themselves and make themselves attractive i mean i just i don't know why this is so difficult for people to understand and it's what we are fighting every day in the inner city trying to save these kids and then i don't know people like Sadiq Khan can say, I wonder why there's so much knife crime. Oh, I wonder why. And then I try and explain how um, important it is for our children to attend schools where they feel like they belong, where they belong to their country. I talk about the importance of singing things like God Save the Queen, I Vow to Thee My Country, which is what we do here. We talk about family, we talk about honor and duty and all of these values that I spoke about earlier. And then people say, oh yeah, Catherine, we'll sing ourselves into having non, no, you know, reducing knife violence. And I think, well, yeah, actually, they don't understand the, the, the power of culture. They don't understand <laughs> that it starts somewhere. They think, oh, you know, they just look at the end result and they say, oh, these, th these boys are carrying knives. What they need are youth clubs. And they may very well need youth clubs. I'm not saying that they don't. But I just think youth clubs long is... before they get there. Why are they carrying the knife in the first place? Because of what we're exposing them to, the culture that has been normalized in their lives. And that it comes in all kinds of ways. So we could talk about absent fathers. We could talk about um, uh, lack of discipline in schools. We could, there's a whole variety of things that obviously uh, it contributes to that. But one of them is the music and the, uh, and the videos that they watch. And as you said, TikTok. I mean, what? I, and it just gets worse and worse. You know, TikTok didn't exist before. And, now, and I just feel like there's so many things that we're trying to fight. I don't know, it, it's, um, it's just really hard. And, uh, and, and it's particularly hard when I'm having to fight the middle classes. Why don't you listen to us? Those of us on the ground are telling you what's happening. So just listen to us. Why would I make it up, right? Why am I, I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you what we see. And for God's sakes, if you could just listen for a moment, and if, if, if society were to take a stance on this and say, no, this is wrong, but there are too many people defending it. And what I find actually is that right meets left on this, so you've got the lefties who are all kind of anything goes, man, come on, you know, let's just let them be free. This is women's sexual liberation. Cardi B should be able to do her porn acts and so on in her videos because, you know, women, men have been doing this for centuries. And I have to say, there are no male music videos where they're behaving like Cardi B, not at all, right? It's only women who are behaving like this, but in any case, they seem to think that this somehow gives us equality. Um, and so th that, that's the, the argument from the left. And then you've got the libertarian right who are saying, well, we should be allowed to do anything we want. You know, if 11 year olds want to gyrate round and do slut, dro uh, slut drops and, 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 and entice, entice men, well, we should let them do it. And if the film director wants to, uh, wants to create such a film, let them do anything they want. And in particular, because the film director of Cuties is a black woman, well, we'll definitely let her do what she wants because we wouldn't dare want to criticize a black woman for doing something that's gonna destroy my black girls. I tell you, it makes me so angry. Anyway, I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> I, this more than anything, make, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm angry about education. I'm angry about, you know, the things, ways in which we fail our children. But this, I find it very hard to talk about without getting angry because um, it's just, because it's my kids' lives, you know? Oh, no, 100%. And, um,